Hey guys, it's Carl here. Today we're going to be installing Python and the IDE that we're going to be using is PyCharm. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the Python page. You're going to basically go to python.org and then you can forward slash downloads. And if you want to quickly do that, I have left the link down in the description for you to quickly navigate to this page. So if you look here, you see that the latest download version is 3.11.1. And I am downloading the latest version for Windows. So the first thing we're going to do is just click this. I'm going to download that. And this will download. It should be a quick download. Once it downloads, you click on it. And the one that we want to do is the install now. And it's going to include the, the IDLE. And we're just going to go there. And then it should be a quick download based on your computer specs. And once that downloads, we'll go to the next step. All right, so the setup was successful. So it has officially downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and hit close here. You can search for Python download by just simply going to your search and typing in Python. Once you type in Python, you can click on it here. And then you will get this dialog box that looks like a command prompt. But this is basically Python. If you want to test out to make sure that it works, you can do something simple like 23 plus 23 and hit enter and if it kicks you back a number then now you know that it works but what we want to do is we want to install an IDE so we're going to go to PyCharm so let's just go ahead and close this dialog box out and then we're going to go to PyCharm and I will also provide this link down in the description but if you if you go about it the long route you'll basically go to Google you'll you end up here you just click on download it's going to bring you to this download PyCharm page. So there are two different versions. There's the professional version, then there's the community version. Community version is for you beginners, for the people that's learning how to do Python. So since I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do Python, we're going to go ahead and download the community version. So we're just going to click download here. It's going to say thank you, and then you just continue to let it download. Now this will download, and the current download here is 404 megabytes. Now, once this download, we'll proceed with the installation. We'll just go ahead and click on it. It's going to open it up. Just click yes. So then we'll just go ahead and select next. It's going to give us an opportunity to pick a destination folder. We'll just click next here. You just use the default. Then it's going to bring up this window here. And we want to also create this right here. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a shortcut. And then let's just hit next nothing to do here we don't have to choose the start menu folder we'll just click install and then this will this will take some time depending on your computer sketch or maybe you're very quick so we'll just let this download all right so we have made it to the end of our download we're going to go ahead and hit this check mark so we're going to run PyCharm community edition hit finish once we do that it should go ahead and open up and then it says do you want to configure and install or installation directly um, we just want to go ahead and hit OK on this. And then it's going to open up. Then the next thing we want to do is hit New Project. You can call it My Project. One. This is already created one. We'll hit Create. Make sure it's a successful download. Alright, so it looked like that download is successful. So now you have installed Python as well as the IDE for Python. So it's time to go learn some Python. 